Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully update your Nintendo Switch to the latest version. So over here, you can see that if I go onto my system and you can see that I am currently on version 20.4.0 and my atmosphere version is 1.9.4. So as you can see, it is a bit out of date, but nothing too bad. So some reasons you do want to update your Nintendo Switch is so you can get better tinfoil running on it. Most of the times when you update your Switch, your tinfoil works better. And you just get more of the new updates that keep your Switch running smoothly and much more better. So as you can see, this is my Switch over here and it's running perfectly fine. So there's a few things we're going to need for this in order to work. The first thing is you need a way to connect your Switch to the PC or a laptop. What you would need is either a USB-C cable if it's hacked or you need some type of way to transfer your SD card files. So that's one thing that you would want to get is some way to plug in your SD card or have access to it. The next thing we're going to need is a application called Daybreak. So I'm going to look for the application so I can show you and here it is. And let me show you Daybreak. Daybreak is basically the area where we're going to be installing our software that will update our switch. So if you have a Switch like mine and it's been banned by Nintendo, you're going to need Daybreak. So that is something that is very important to have. Other than that, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn off our Switch. So I'm going to close my applications and I'm going to go on to Hakate and I will go into USB mode and we're going to go on the computer and I will show you what to do from there. So here we are on our PC and as you can see that we have all these files here that we now need to download. So I have all the files downloaded here and they're all extract. So the ones we're going to need to download is going to be on these websites over here. So as you can see this is what we have and we have these few links here. So we're going to start with SIG patches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on SIG patches and you want to keep scrolling down and then you want to download this one here. Then you want to go on to Tegra RCM or Hikate. This one's Hikate. So we're going to go here and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click the bin file and we're going to also download the zip file. Then over here, we're going to see this is atmosphere. And then on atmosphere, we're going to download fuzi.bin and atmosphere right here. Then we're going to go into this one, which is our Tegra RCM GUI. So we're going to scroll down and download the portable.zip. Then over here, we're going to go onto mission control and then we're going to download mission control right here. Then we're going to go into our firmware version. Now over here, you're going to see you have a list of switch firmwares here. So we're going to go select the latest one, which is this, press download, and it will start downloading it for us. So I'm going to close this now. And now we're going to be over here. So on this side is all the stuff we downloaded. So you can see we have all these zip folders here. So once they download it, I'm going to delete these zip folders. So I clear it up. So now we're left with this selection of folders right here. So let's start with fusey.bin. What you want to do first is go on to your SD card right here. So as you can see, we have everything here and it's pretty simple. So we're going to go to bootloader and we're going to click bootloader here and payloads. And as you can see, we have fusey.bin here. So I'm going to drag and drop this into fusey.bin into your payloads folder. I don't know why I have two, so I'm going to just go put it here. So I'm going to put my fusey.bin here and that's pretty much it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto our Hikate. So I'm going to drag these two, drag and drop it to the root of the SD card and replace it. Then I'm going to go into our firmware here and I'm just going to drag and drop the raw file onto the root of the SD card. So as you can see, it's transferring over. So I'm going to put this here. While I'm at it, Tegra RCM is for us. We're going to keep this on the computer. So we'll do that last. We're going to go to Mission Control. Same thing, drag and drop it. We're going to press replace. And then we're going to go into our atmosphere here. We're going to see we have all this. We're going to drag and drop it and replace. And then we have Hakate here, which is all this stuff here. So this is our SIG patch, which has our Hakate stuff, everything that we need. So we're just going to copy all of this, drag and drop to the root, and we're going to press replace. So what we've just did is updated all of our, I guess, modded software files, but that's pretty much what we did. We have not updated our actual system firm. We just updated all the, I guess, mods on our switch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back on the switch. 
But if you took out your SD card, you're gonna need Tegra RCM GUI. So now we're gonna open up Tegra RCM. And then it's just select payload. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into downloads and I'm gonna click this Hakate file that we just downloaded right here. That separate one. And we see we have this here. Now to inject our payload, we're gonna right click our switch SD and we're gonna eject it. So now we have our switch SD ejected. And I'm gonna plug in our SD card into our switch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a USB-C cable. So you wanna get a USB-C cable that has data capability. So I'm gonna plug that one into my PC now. And then I'm gonna press the power button. And then you're gonna see it says RCM okay and we're gonna inject the payload. And if you did everything correctly, it should boot back into your Hakate. So I'll go on the switch and show you what to do from there. So here we are back on our Nintendo Switch right here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna now update our Switch. So if you did everything correct, you should be brought back here when you click Fusey Dop in. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on Daybreak. We're on Daybreak, we're gonna go and install and over here we're gonna see our firmware 21.0.0 folder. So I'm gonna click this. Daybreak is now gonna read all the files in there and if the files look good and if they're not corrupted, they're gonna let you continue. So we're gonna wait and as you can see, we are allowed to continue. So I'm gonna press continue. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna preserve our settings that we have. If you wanna go back to factory settings, you click this, but for me, I wanna preserve what we have. So I'm gonna click this. We're gonna click install FAT32 plus XFAT and we're gonna press continue. Now you can see that this is installing the update. So it shouldn't take too long because we already have the update file downloaded. All it needs to do is now just transfer the file over onto the switch. And as you can see, it's going pretty fast. So we're just gonna wait. And once this is done, we're gonna get an option to reboot our Nintendo Switch. So this is almost done. We have another second. And since it's done, we're gonna hold on on it. And now we're able to either shut it down or reboot. So if it's good and you do everything correct, you can press root. So now we're back switch.